I don't force them to be like, hey, I want to interview you because like, I think you have an interesting sex life, you know, and we don't, we don't do that. Hi, my name is Nicole. I am a host and producer of a podcast called Something Private. My tagline for the podcast is that we talk about everything related to the vagina, from sex to health and society. I say that because, um, first of all, it's catchy. When people hear the word vagina, they're like, oh, they're like shook, you know. So I think that's that's like why we included that word. And the other thing is, we do talk about everything related to the vagina. The podcasting space in Singapore is very new. And I think that um, I really wanted to do specifically a female health podcast, health and wellness podcast, for two reasons. One is um, because I felt that there was a lack in content in the podcasting space. And the second reason is because I felt that there was a lack of conversations, open and honest conversations, there's stories about women in um, Singaporean Southeast Asian space, right? Honest conversations. Um, first of all, like the nature of podcasting is that it's very, it's more long form than like a, let's say, a four minute video, right? The idea that you go in already knowing that I'm going to listen to like a 30, 40 minute or maybe even our ep- episode, right? It's like you have the mindset that it's it's going to be long and you are dedicated to wanting to figure out or like wanting to learn or having a bit of a takeaway. So that's one. The second thing is that I think like podcasts are just a very intimate space, right? Like when it comes to topics that are a bit more complex and requires a bit more time to flesh out, right? It, I feel like a video just doesn't really cut it or cannot really do a topic justice in that sense. Yes, this is actually... No, wait, that's a no. This is my full-time job. So I think a lot of people ask me this question because they think that like, I don't know if the misconception is that podcasting is an easy job to do, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's a lot of like work that goes behind the scenes of like a good podcast. For instance, like um, your setup, um, contacting your guests, scripting the podcast, editing the podcast, business aspect of it also. Like how do you work with like partners? How do we work with like brands to tell them that you know this is an up and coming space and that like we are the first few to enter it. has its own challenges. Uh, we are not in like a studio setting where we have like um, soundproof systems and then like cozy couches for like my guests to come and sit down and be like, let's chill and have a conversation, which is typically like the nature of our podcast. It's very like conversational, very like, let's just lounge here and then like um, have a three hour long like conversation. So that was tough. And especially you know, if you do like Zoom calls, like exactly like this, it gets, it gets tiring after a while. So yeah, I think it's just, really making do and then sometimes it gets challenging like sometimes I'm, I'm recording in my room right then my, my dad will just like knock on the door and then I'm like um, okay I'm recording and after that, that later that night he will come and tease me I'm recording and I'm like yeah, be, yeah I'm trying to work you know what I mean <laughs> I do think that like people want to hear about these topics and people want to share more often than not. Maybe it's just that um, they don't have the avenue to do so. I would say that I'll, we also handle like the topics with a lot of like sensitivity. I don't force them to be like, hey, I want to interview you because like I think you have an interesting sex life, you know, and we don't, we don't do that. We like, you know, if you want to share, we would love to listen and then we give them the proper, we tell the story properly. So. Thank you.